Welcome to Studio Jakarta EE. Uh, this is the Jakarta EE Elections Edition. And uh, today uh, I'm here with uh, Aryan Times, which is running for a seat at the Steering Committee. Aryan, uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, so my name is Aryan Times. Uh, thanks for having me, by the way. I'm um, involved with a lot of uh, projects on the, um, in Jakarta. So I'm a committer on the implementation projects. I'm a committer on the uh, spec projects. I'm a committer um, on several projects that are uh, associated with uh, Jakarta, like OmniFaces, which I was one of the co-founders of. Um, and yeah, I'm overall I'm quite involved with the Jakarta uh, ecosystem. Yeah, so, so you're involved in a lot of open source. And uh, uh, why do you think it's important to engage in open source these days? Well, the thing was that initially I was uh, working as a contractor uh, for several companies and then I was just using uh, Java EE back then. And I always found a lot of stuff that could be improved. And like I didn't like so much that some other people were just complaining, say like EGB is rotten or JSF has this and this problem. I was always like willing to, uh, to contribute, to improve, to not just continuously hop on to some other technology and always trying to find this one silver bullet, um, but just trying to improve on stuff we were using. So I was starting to file issues. I was starting to file um, requests for improvements. Um, and I found that I kind of liked uh, tinkering with all this technology. So whenever there was a bug in JSF, I would just report a bug. I would actually try to find where the issue was. So I would like uh, step into the application server. I would uh, try to find how these things worked, how they all interacted. And then like over time, I came quite, um, yeah, quite, how you say this, quite, um, it, it, it was like really interesting to me to see how all these things work together. It was like such a huge ecosystem and then everything tied into each other. And uh, so from there on, I started to contribute uh, more and more essentially. Yeah, so, so by actually uh, being involved in developing the technologies, uh, it's actually a, a good career move for you and it's good business competitive advantage to to, to be able to say to a client that, hey, I'm actually developing the platform that you have chosen to build your applications on. So I'm yeah, probably exactly. to, to, to yeah, exactly. put the applications on it. Yeah, so I had this in various occasions where uh, people were using, for instance, uh, JASPIC, the authentication API in uh, Java EE, now called uh, Jakarta Authentication. And this is like a really specific API. It's a low level one, not many people uh, use it. Uh, but if you use it, like you really need to know how it works. Um, so then some clients specifically wanted me for uh, the knowledge involved with uh, JASPIC. And th this is a funny story too. Like I normally, I wasn't so much into security before. Um, but then at some point we started with a, a new application in a company that I co-founded, uh, Sieve, and we wanted to do everything the Java EE way. So not using many external libraries, not using um, other stuff, just do everything as much as possible with uh, Java EE. And then I heard about this authentication spec. So this was relatively new at the time. So I was, starting to look into that. And then I found out that it didn't work. It was so bizarre. It's a spec that's released. There's supposedly a TCK for that. But it just didn't work. <laughs> you couldn't actually authenticate with it. It was the most bizarre thing I ever saw. So I started to, to like debug the code, uh, find all the places where it didn't work. I read through the spec to see what the spec said, how it should work, start filing a lot of issues. I think the JBoss guys at the time hated me for coming up with issue after issue after issue. So if the JBoss guys are watching uh, the Red Hat guys, guys, sorry for all the issues I fired at you back then. 
Um, but then over time, I got like more and more the expert on jazz pick. And then at some point, I was like the expert, but that was essentially because I just wanted to build an app. And one of the requirements of the app was to, a to be able to log in. Uh, that, that's a funny story, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but, but and uh, you're running for a committer seat at the steering committee. And yeah. Right. Why, why do you think it's it's important to have the uh, committers represented in the steering committee? Yeah. So there's um, traditionally in those committees there's uh, multiple viewpoints there. So you have defenders. They have a big stamp, of, of course. On the proceedings, uh, but there's consultants. There's the consultant view, like what do these people want from a uh, platform? There's a customer view, what do customers normally want? And there's the end user view, like the developer who's actually building uh, the stuff. And essentially, I think all those views need to be represented. Otherwise, you get something that's like really vendor centric. And the offenders can be like extremely uh, knowledgeable about the technology itself, like how the APIs work, how they interact, what all the subtle uh, things are. Um, it's they don't always have experience with building actual apps, with building to, uh, with building things to the requirements of actual customers. Um, I've seen this. I worked for a vendor, and there's like. Absolutely uh, 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 brilliant engineers there. We know a lot of things, but not all of them have worked for uh, customers. So um, then, in my point of view, it's quite important to have this um, this view from a committer, from someone who actually worked with customers, who built applications, who is maybe still a consultant, uh, to contribute their part of their uh, few points to the committee. So uh, you would say that you will represent kind of the, the real world experience. Yeah, exactly. I, I can come up with a slogan for you, for, for your uh, election campaign, and that would be uh, uh, vote for the real world experience, vote for Arjun. Exactly, yeah, that would be it. Yes, that's true. and. To elaborate on that a little bit more, um, the Jakarta Security API um, was actually kind of built on those principles. So um, while I was uh, developing the API, I was actually using this in practice as well. Of course, for an internal application, um, you can't use so much uh, prototype code in the real world. But like an internal office application that's that, that's semi close to working on a real uh, project, and from that I get actual feedback, like what were the other developers struggling with, uh, what was I myself st struggling with. So that kind of feedback was put back into the API, and that is the stuff I want to uh, continue contributing to the uh, to the committee. So uh, thank you very much for joining me here today and uh, best of luck in the elections. And I oh, hope I to see you again in the steering committee in, in the future. All right, thank you very much. Okay, bye.